Hey guys, Jake from Rosie Reptiles here. Today I'm going to be doing a video on this tank behind me. This is something that I've recently set up for something that I've recently acquired, which is something that I've wanted for a long time, but I've never actually been uh, had the opportunity to get these things. Uh, and now that I finally could, obviously I snatched up them and uh, let's turn around and have a look at what we got. Before we reveal what's actually in here, here's the simple setup. Now I still have to add some um, some driftwood and stuff like that. I'd like to have a few more bits for these things to climb on. But as you can see, we have sand, we've got some reef rock, and there's a few stack rocks on the other side there too. And I might have just revealed what they are. This is brackish water. So it's not fresh water, it's not straight salt water, but it is brackish. I'm wondering if maybe I should get some, some, some marine hermit crabs or something to go along in here too. But. And this is only temporary, it's not permanent, um, because I just want to be able to, uh, basically I just have to pre pretty much set up something super basic until I can get them uh, into a bigger tank. Uh, but for the time being, this is perfectly fine. Anyway. There's one sitting there. The others are back there. And there. Now, for you guys that aren't aware what these are, these are an Australian native and they're a mud skipper. This is my smallest one here. Its name's Tiny. <laughs> Pretty cool. And back there, we have my others. Um, so they're back there as well. Uh, I have five all up. Tiny, and then obviously the other ones are unnamed, but they're all uh, back there. There's two on the edge there, one in the water and one there. I'll pop in some clips of when one of them jumped from basically here, like all the way over here. Or if I open this, they tend to jump a little bit. They're not quite ready. You know, they're not quite used to me just yet. These are a super new purchase. But they're quite funny watching them jump. <laughs> Look at that. Super awesome, amazing patterns. Really, really, really nice looking fish. And something different. Alrighty, so as I mentioned, this tank is far from complete. I want to add, um, ideally I would have liked to get some mangrove plants, but they're quite expensive, uh, or some roots. Um, but I'm going to get some driftwood to give them climbing options. Obviously, if you guys don't know about mudskippers, they are actually uh, in the goby family, and they can leave the water. Once they leave the water, they actually breathe through their skin. So as long as their skin or their scales um, remain sort of damp, and then they can breathe. Once they're actually in the water, they obviously use their gills like normal. Look at them there. <laughs> but these guys are absolutely awesome. Now, because it is brackish water, there aren't too many plants, if any, that really do too well in that salt water. I know Java moss works and some Java ferns. Again, obviously mangroves, they're designed, they're a plant that is naturally in brackish water. I was gonna try maybe doing some pythos or pothos up in that corner and seeing how that goes, but again, I don't know whether or how well that goes in salt water. But yeah, super simple setup. So they've got about 10 centimeters of water um, and then that's half the tank or a little bit more than half because of the fact that it comes up here as well. They've got the one island and then they've got the other island at the back, which actually quite a few of them sit up there. But they tend to hang around the little um, air bubbler, at the um, sponge filter and on the stack rocks here as well. Now, what do these guys eat? They eat mealworms, uh, black worm, blood worm, fish flakes, crickets. They eat quite a bit. Um, it's actually great that I can just throw in a few crickets in there when I'm feeding the frogs, open the lid up, throw a few crickets in there for them, and they go crazy for them. Uh, and it's awesome. Again, something that I've wanted for a long time. As I said, this is not um, permanent. This is just temporary. It is perfectly suitable and I could keep them in here if I wanted to, but ideally I'd like them something a little bit bigger and ideally something a little bit more natural down the track too. But yeah, as I said, gotta add a few bits of driftwood so they can have more climbing spots and, and everything like that. But for the main part, this is them. And uh, I'm super excited to have them uh, in the collection. And again, they're something that I've wanted for ages, so. Um, eventually I'll be doing a marine tank. Here's my first marine tank, brackish water. Uh, and a step towards having that marine tank. But um, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a quick one. Just wanted to show you guys the mud skippers. Anyway, that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next one.